Okay, well here's another shot across the bow of traditional banking. <laughs> it's always been a joke in, in my mind anywhere, you know, that if you're a small business and uh, you have to go to a bank for, for money, <laughs> man, the business, banks don't want to lend money to anybody who needs money. They love lending money to people who don't need money. They're the people they want to lend money to. So there's a website that gets around all this kind of stuff, particularly for small business it's aimed at. It's brand new. And see, that's what, what they, what's happening. These, you know, shared economy and other things with the platform, man, you know, just with a website, puts a bank around a business and, and actually gets money to people who can't get it in traditional banks, but are really good businesses. So you, and actually it's about a business here, a little restaurant that opened up in, a, in Michigan. Okay, now they, they, they bootstrap the whole restaurant, everything in the place is begged, borrowed, and stolen, or whatever, you know, to get this thing going. And like most bar, small businesses, you know, they're working close to the belt and they don't have lousy accounting systems and all this kind of stuff that traditional banks want, you know. Well, these people understand that, you know, and it's called Zip Cap, okay. And, and what they do is lend money to businesses like that. Businesses that are needed, businesses that don't have good financials, businesses that don't own anything, businesses that are running out of the back pocket. You know, these kinds of things, they understand it. And where they get the collateral from is customers. So you have to be in business for like a year or so, you know, and, and what you do, they do is say, get, you know, like this one business, it, it, it's, uh, uh, oh, what's the name of the restaurant? Breezy's Cafe. They got uh, 130 inner members, 130 patrons saying that, hey, yeah, we'll spend at least like $450 here for, for a year. You know, because they just love it. You know, this is your people who love Hemi. So all, all they're doing is promising they're going to pay there. And I don't know, that a lot of people, some of the people who promise don't really you know, fall into that. But, uh, you know, I mean, they, they don't follow through, but it looks like there's no, you know, big penalty <laughs> involved. But so the small business found 130 people say they love us. We'll, we'll come here. We'll spend at least, you know, four or 500 bucks for the next year, whatever. Okay, just on that kind of information. See, this uh, website, zipcap.com, Z-I-P-C-A-P.com, will get you the money you need. Like they borrowed ten thousand dollars, and you know, and they're paying on time now and everything. You know, some of the banks they were turned down by banks in the area, yeah, you know, that, that didn't uh, want to give them the money because they had no collateral, they had no equity, they had no you know long history. They never borrowed money before. They didn't have a you know a business plan, <laughs> and all their accounting system was a drawer of receipts. You know. But this is based on customers. I mean, that's the value of any business. I mean, the business is all about customers. All this other stuff is nonsense to me. If you don't have a customer and it doesn't come back, man, you're out of business. You know? So that's why the whole thing about business is getting customers. So what they're able to do on a website is say, okay, we'll lend money to you. So they do the deal and the paperwork and all this kind of stuff and get that restaurant money. And then they've been paying back and, you know, it's going along fine. And that's why I say, gosh, I mean, what's happening in our life now because of the Internet? If we didn't have the Internet there, it wouldn't happen. I mean, you have to be running around and knocking on every door to get money for your restaurant here. But there's a platform. It makes it easy and it all happens. Yeah. So that's why the growth in our country aren't things like this, not the old stuff. The bankers aren't going to grow. I mean, they'll probably still be getting loans to big businesses or something like that. But it's a little guy, you know, that's what's happening. And that's actually a more satisfying life for most of us now, too. But how do we get the money to do that? Well, see, there's new opportunities to get that money, to keep them small and be, be feel like a craftsman. You're working, you know, as a chef in Shoney's or something like that. How do you feel any soul for that? Maybe you take pride in your work, but customers, man, when you have a little mom and pop restaurant, man, that you could throw your heart on that table every day for a customer. 
You know, and, and that's why I sort of see, gosh, you know, love is what life is all about. You know, these big corporations don't love you and you don't love them back because they don't love you. So you're not going to love somebody back <laughs> if they don't love you. They're just using the hell out of you for as much as they can get, right? And so that, that's not a lovable situation. So if you're in a situation in your work environment, well, gosh, you love your customers, so they're so important, and then they start loving you back, and, and wow, and the people that work, you know, the small group of people you work with are, are so tight and love each other, protect each other, instead of fighting politically <laughs> for the next raise or growth. No, life doesn't have to be like that. Just think if your home life was like that, like your work life, everybody politicking for how I'm going to do, get around this guy and screw him out of this and get a raise and they not. And everything. Boy, that'd be a lousy home life, right? But we accept that in the business life, right? We don't have to. <laughs> you know, so take a look at Zipcap and the kind of businesses they have. I mean, they have an arts business in there. They're, they're helping. They have a bakery business and they're just starting. So find out about it. Maybe this is the kind of money for you, or there may be another one for you. There's a lot of opportunities like this, not only traditional money, there's other local crowdfunding things for business in local areas that do the same thing, but not really. So there's always big twists on all this, but just keep track of all this stuff. A lot of new stuff is happening. That's really neat. You can take advantage of it and start growing.